What's going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video today. Got another episode of Giants franchise for you going over the draft class. So if you didn't watch the entire offseason video, this is kind of a meet the rookies before we start season two, which will be done a little bit differently to the way I did season one. It's going to be more focused on scouting. I'll try to do like maybe two games per episode if we can do it in a different style. Fa like, you know, because the quarters are kind of long, but I don't want to make the videos like an hour. So what I might want to do is like play the moments of the second game or something like that. But yeah, Patrick Wright, these are the contracts in case you care. Damar Jacobs, Eric Faison, Antoine Todd, Logan Robeson, Ellis Offord, Howard Russell, Morris DuBose, and Roman Pew, if you care, we're going to go over them, meet the rookies individually here in a minute. First up, we have our number one draft pick, our number one choice, Roman Pugh. He was selected number three overall out of UCLA, and he's a really, really solid player. This is, of course, Roman Pugh at UCLA, as I have put all of these prospects into NCAA, kind of customize them a little bit, and I'm going to show you guys their highlights because i think that'd be a really cool feature as roman pew is going to shed there and get after the quarterback this is of course against arkansas as austin allen goes down but this is more about each prospect individually and kind of getting to know them than less about so you know who they're sacking or picking off or catching a touchdown on but roman pew should be a beast for us he will start at left end and he showcases truly a great litany of pass rush moves not amazing in the run game but as a pure pass rusher as you can see there the bull rush steamrolling over the right tackle he showcases the power speed athleticism that he will bring to the table as we move on to morris dubose 85 overall cornerback out of nebraska 85 man 82 slot 81 zone he will wear number 24 of course at the University of Nebraska, he donned the number two. Also had a face mask, but we've opted to not bring the face mask back at the NCAA to now NFL level, as he will be going up against Purdue here, intercepting the pass, playing the flats there. Morris DuBose has taken Eli Apple's number 24, as I'm sure you all hated Eli Apple equally to me. And you're excited to see a new person wear number 24 and that will be none other than morris dubose ran a 4 2 7 40 if i'm not mistaken which is equal to blistering 98 speed as you can see showcased here coming back over the middle for the interception morris dubose mainly will play on the outside he doesn't exactly have the skills to be a slot cornerback for us but that's where another prospect will come in later as you guys will meet him just in a little bit as we will move on to our number three prospect, Howard Russell. Wide receiver out of USC. Another first round draft pick here. Our last one as he equated to a 79 overall. And of course at USC, he was an absolute monster. Fun fact about Howard Russell. We're number 81 for the Trojans. He was the number one overall prospect before the draft. Throughout the entire season, Howard Russell was the number one prospect. And of course, we traded up essentially to acquire him. And he was worth every bit. Now, was he the best player in the class? No. Far from it. As Morris DuBose was the number one player in the class at a blisteringly insane 85 overall to go with his pace and speed of 98, if you will. But I'll tell you what. Howard Russell surely can be a playmaker. He's got great speed to play on the outside, and that's mainly where we will see him. Sure, he's the third receiver on our depth chart, but we got Sterling Shepard in the slot. He's a big body to go on the outside. He complements the rest of our receivers really well with a 6'2 frame. Go up and catch the football. As we move on to Ellis Offord, the second prospect drafted out of the University of Nebraska, and a pretty solid one as well. He's going to start at left outside linebacker for us as a rookie, and there will be a battle across the season, and we're going to you know, mix and match and see how these players play. We have Ellis Offord, left outside linebacker out of Nebraska, and we have Antoine Todd, middle linebacker out of Purdue. We might look to get him snaps at left outside linebacker. You might see him play snaps at middle linebacker starting over BJ Goodson even on some formations. So it's going to be very interesting. We have a lot of variation here that Ellis Offord offers us. 
because he's going to be a guy that can come in on the blitz, get to the quarterback as you see right there, or he can drop back into coverage and pick off the quarterback. The one downfall of Ellis Offord, where he really comes up a little bit short compared to a player like Antoine Todd, he just doesn't have the speed that Antoine Todd has. And that's not to say that Antoine Todd has incredible speed. It's only 82 overall. But Ellis Offord sitting at 77. So a little bit worse for sure as you move on to Nat DeGear. Rookie cornerback, of course, at a Brigham Young University, BYU. This is our slot guy. This is someone that should translate really, really well into the slot. Of course, at BYU, played mostly on the outside, but in our New York Giants system, we've already got Janoris Jenkins on the outside. That's someone that probably will have that position locked down for the next few years, depending on how he regresses. Maybe Nat Nagir can kind of grow into that role. As you see, he gets an interception there in the end zone of Texas backed up into the own end zone and he'll get another one here just jumping the route decent return nothing crazy but Nat DeGear mainly look for him in nickel packages playing that slot cornerback role good in run defense he's everything we were looking for at the spot next up Patrick Wright defensive tackle out of Texas he mainly will be a situational player and he's a pure pass rusher. I know he has 73 overall for run stopper. That's not really where he thrives. He is a get after the quarterback type player. He actually has decent block shed, but I think his speed is going to let him down a little bit in some situations. But as you can see, getting after Taysom Hill there, of course, uh, now New Orleans Saints quarterback, I believe. But yeah, Patrick Wright, some of these highlights might be a little bit older, if you will. But he's a guy that can get after the quarterback. He's decent in stuffing the run, but he's a pure pass rusher at that defensive tackle position. The only thing he really lacks is speed as well. That's why he slipped a little bit later into the draft than what his pure talent might be. But as you can see, great pushing back the guard there, getting after the quarterback after the disengage. Patrick Wright is going to come in and sub packages and hopefully do exactly that at the next level as we move on. Antoine Todd talked a little bit about him earlier only a 74 overall middle linebacker but I believe he is a 79 overall outside linebacker from what the comments section was telling me Antoine Todd you have a really really polished player here for his low overall he's got good speed he's got good pursuit tackling block shed hit power his coverage isn't terrible Antoine Todd is a player that could become a starter as early as year one we're gonna have to see how he progresses how he develops but there you can see he's got the speed he's got the coverage ability and he's gonna take this one all the way to the house for six it's gonna be really exciting to see Antoine Todd play and make the most of his opportunities he's gonna start probably mostly on special teams he had a decent preseason nothing crazy we're gonna have to see how he plays as he's playing against Nebraska in this particular game against Ellis Offord as they are now teammates. But Antoine Todd versus Ellis Offord will be a huge story for the linebacking core over season number two. Who do you guys want to start at that position? Left outside linebacker. Antoine Todd or Ellis Offord? As we move on to DeMar Jacobs, wide receiver number four. Great value pickup here in the late rounds. 78 overall possession style receiver. And he's got the size. Six foot five. 220 plus pounds of wide receiver beast if you look at our wide receiving core now we have sterling shepherd pure slot receiver coming in about 510 he's only going to be a slot receiver for us then we have odell a little bit taller five foot 11 he can play the outside he can move into the slot on some plays if we need him to obviously one of the best receivers in the nfl odell beckham gives us great great value at wide receiver on a multitude of different routes we bring in howard russell in this draft class six foot two great frame go up and get the football on the outside great spectacular catch and then we have demar jacobs even bigger body at six foot five haul it in short range medium range just throw it to him and hope he reels it in as you can see here his possession catch throwing you know the defenders off holding it on to the ball is great stuff of course a little bit lag on the clip that's my bad as we move on to logan robeson i know center offensive line not the most exciting who cares right wrong the offensive line matters a ton because we haven't had time throughout the entire series thus far logan robeson out of texas a&m should be a great fit for us at center jw hilton drafted as a tackle to play guard 
Played tackle at Arizona. He's going to play guard for us. As you can see, we have him listed at right guard. That's where we see him fit best. That's where we put him in Arizona. But he's going to start at right guard. We have an entirely new look offensive line, and that's going to be capped out with our right tackle, Eric Faison out of Oregon. Of course, rookie offensive line from center, right guard, and right tackle should be very interesting. But guys, that's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and that will do it for me, guys. Take it easy.